What happened in the Garden of Gethsemane? After Jesus and his disciples shared their Last Supper, they came to the Garden of Gethsemane, which was an orchard with olive trees. Jesus told his disciples to sit while he went ahead, taking only Peter, James, and John with him. He went on a little further alone and prayed. Mark records that Jesus prayed in a similar way a total of three times, and after each time, he found his disciples sleeping instead of watching and praying. Jesus was very sorrowful, filled with extreme mental anxiety or stress, praying with strong crying and tears. Luke tells us he prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Some misunderstand that the cup Jesus wanted removed was having to die for the sins of the world. But this is not so. He knew his death was necessary to be the ransom for all humankind. We believe the Bible suggests the cup Jesus wanted removed included the pain of being falsely accused as a blasphemer, someone who insults and speaks against God. Jesus had always spoken out against evil as God's personal representative, but would now have to be silent as the events of the night unfolded exactly as had been prophesied in the Old Testament. The cup might also have included the pain of knowing God's face would soon turn away from him, as he would have to go through this experience on his own. We suggest that these thoughts, and possibly more, were part of the cup that he asked God to remove if it was his will. God then sent an angel to comfort and strengthen him for what was to come. Judas had already accepted 30 pieces of silver from the Jewish leaders in exchange for revealing Jesus' location. Arriving with a large group armed with swords and clubs, Judas betrayed Jesus by greeting him with a kiss, a prearranged signal so they would know whom to arrest. To protect Jesus, Peter drew his sword and cut off the high priest servant's right ear. <laughs> After telling him to put away his sword, Jesus said, Don't you know that I could call on my father for help, and at once he would send me more than twelve armies of angels? It was necessary to show that his capture was voluntary, not by force. He healed the man's ear and went peaceably with his captors, because he knew his time had come. But the story doesn't end there. Jesus dying on the cross was a part of God's plan that will eventually allow everyone who has ever died to return to life in God's kingdom. Thank you for liking and subscribing.